TR9130 the SO239 is loose at the back lock very easy to drop the back off once the top and the bottom are off the radio it does receive case is not brilliant eBay of course hopefully it transmits but I don't want to transmit when there's certainly no on earth there, there is there no so uh, there's only four screws look there's one there's two so not brilliant but a sideband very rare sideband radio so let's hope it transmits I'm saying it does receive I haven't trans uh, rece um, transmitted anything to listen but the squelch works and there was a problem with the power lead blew a fuse and then I looked and it was broken inside of the one of the connections only two pin connections isn't there there it is look a two pin I do have the board that it sits on as well with all the leads at the back I'm just going to do that there look you can't, can't take a chance can you there's a better shot of it look I want to take those off I don't want to damage any wires maybe uh, I'd, yes I think first of all I may put a bit of WD-40 on that now I've got it clear off the radio I didn't want anything sneaking in there any fluid so I'll drop a bit of WD-40 on the back of the thread see whether it loosens off or not but, uh, they're a very good radio. <coughs> Let's hope this one works. And, and they seem to be reliable. But they've got to work first. Haven't they? It's had a rough life. But I won't be going to any shows and showing it off. Only me that's going to be able to see it under the desk. That's all. Double D40 there then. I'm quite surprised they haven't broken already. <coughs> With him, it might have blown something in the radio because he's been using it <coughs> without it being total. But it is on Earth, isn't it? But it's not on the chassis. Maybe pull tight. Who knows? It's uh, who knows. We we'll, we won't know until we finish repair the job, will we? That's it. All nice and tight. Look. Bit a few scratches there. Where not moving, is it? No. All nice and tight nothing broken inside as you see I've got the bottom unit that it sits on with all the wires so we're going to see if <laughs> it transmits well it does work you can see the SWR meter without uh, looking at me <laughs> I just find out where it uh, right so there it is up That's on uh, 200 watts, so, oops, oh dear, um, I think it's, right, 5 watts is low power, I haven't got a microphone, I have got a microphone, but it, it, unfortunately it's got the wrong plug, and it is a, a Kenwood microphone, an MC55, as you're all very well aware of the MC55 for the 990. Now I've got the radio that fits the uh, MC55. Here it is.
but it's not very pretty few dents in the uh, case but and, uh, I can only see that last digit um, the other one's a little bit you can see it better on the camera and they're not too bright so maybe there's a bu another bulb there or something but I can see but you can see it better <laughs> you can see it all the more you can see it's brighter look so Right, so that's on um, a 20 watt setting there, look, 5 watts. Oh, it's less than 5 watts. It used to be 5 watts. Not variable, is it? So if I put it on the 200 watt setting now, and flick this to just realise that's... Uh, so it's just over 20 watts. Which is fair, isn't it? We don't need that noise. So it's it's... Yeah, I've had to use the key in the back. <laughs> it works, doesn't it? I'll have to try it with the handheld, and the audio sounds excellent. It really does, but unfortunately the handheld as well. Some the battery's dead. It's just just hello, and that's it went. So yeah, see so, if I show you the rest of the radio, that's nothing. Look at. <laughs> Oh, such a lovely radio, and it makes you wonder how people abuse them. I mean, I bet it cost him a lot of money when he bought, first bought it, or someone when they first bought it. Uh, need a backup battery in the back, and then we possibly won't lose uh, it to come back to the frequency it's been on before. So, yeah, can't wait to go on sideband. See you later.